Hi, my name is Rod, a field service engineer. Today we will discuss about an ADSL modem and a fiber modem. But first we need to understand what the modem is. Let us consider a computer A and another computer named computer B. If the computer A or B wants to send messages to one another, it requires a medium which is provided by our telephone cables. For a message from computer A to reach computer B is through a series of connections. That is, from computer A to telephone A and then to the telephone cables which will be received by the telephone B and then to the computer B. But there is a problem in this continuity of this serial connection. And the problem is, once we have typed a message saying, Hi, how are you? The computer will convert and send the messages in the form of zeros and ones, which is the only language that the computer knows. That is, the binary language. But the telephone cannot understand the binary language because it sends and receives the messages only through the analog signals. Those analog signals cannot be understood by the computer. So, Obviously, what we want is a translator, a black box named modulator, which converts the binary language into analog signals. A part of the problem has been solved. Now the messages can successfully send from a computer to a telephone with the help of the modulator. The telephone sends the messages to another telephone in the form of analog signals. And the next problem lies here. We require another kind of black box to demodulate the analog signals to binary language. A demodulator. Now, the message can be successfully sent from computer A to computer B, but it's just a one-way communication. We cannot get the reply. In order to get the reply, we have to set the whole setup from B to A. A modulator between computer B to telephone B. Analog signals from telephone B to telephone A. A demodulator between telephone A to computer A. As time passes, the modulator and demodulator combine together to form a single box named modem. Now we can send and receive messages. And it became two-way communication. Everything became possible with the help of the one and only modem. A modem is a modulator and a modulator. That means uh, it converts the digital signal into analog signal and vice versa. Okay, for the ADSL modem, it uses copper connection and the fiber modem uses optical fiber. The DSL modem and the fiber modem has a synchronization between the equipment in the central office. In the DSL modem, the light indicator for the synchronization is ADSL light. In the fiber modem, the light indicator is the PON. So a solid ADSL light, that means it has a good synchronization in our uh, central office equipment going to this modem. If an ADSL light is blinking, that means we have a problem with our physical connection. Probably a cable cut or a no signal. For the fiber modem, the light indicator is PON. So a solid green light for the PON, that means it has um, a good signal from central office going to this equipment. We have the problem with the physical connection. The indicator for that is the LOS. So you can see a red light and that means it has a problem with the physical connection. And also these two modems has a router functionality. So that means you can connect to the internet using wired and wireless. So for the ADSL modem, you can connect your LAN cable from LAN 1 to 3. And the LAN 4 is intended for IPTV. For the fiber modem, LAN 1 is intended for the internet connection using your LAN cable. And the LAN 2, 3 and 4 is intended for IPTV. So for the wireless connection, both of these devices has a dual band wireless. It uses 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. 
The 2.4 GHz are commonly used for long range and the 5 GHz are commonly used for short range but in high internet speed. If your device is a WPS enabled, so you can just press the WPS button here and then uh, it will link the WPS enabled device. Same as true with the fiber modem. That's all for now. We hope that this video will help you understand the PLTD DSL in the fiber modem. Thank you for watching.